What's good? What's good? We are back. Yours truly, the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, aka Triple P, aka the Common Sense Podcast. Your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much, much more. Um, today I'm going to react to a video. Uh, liberal mayor blasted for new move to block media access. Go figure. Um, cancel culture and censorship in full effect. But before we do that, let's give you a word from one of our sponsors. Are you a musician looking for music marketing and promotion? Then look no further than Promo Palace LLC, your one-stop shop for all music promotion services. Services include Spotify playlist pitching, YouTube video promotion, record pull promotion, blog placements, radio airplay promotion, SoundCloud promotion, and much more. With over 2,000 customers and over 10 years of experience in online promotion, Promo Palace LLC is a company you can trust. For more info, please go to promopalace.biz. See you there. You heard a lovely lady in the online market of promotions. Please go to Promo Palace. Dot biz one stop shop. We also got the new little apparel t shirts, as you can see. For all you dog lovers, you know, animal lovers, pet lovers, we also got the cat t shirts on there as well. Go to promo palace.biz, click merchandise. You got the t shirts, the hoodies, and much, much more. All right, let's get into it. All right. in Chicago, the crime crisis, absolutely out of control. Mm -hmm. But the latest news there is you're going to be, you're going to have a harder time understanding or hearing about it because the latest move in Chicago is that the city is looking to ban or stop the ability of the media and, and citizenry to hear the police scanner, police and right. fire uh -huh. scanners somehow block of they that are. signal so that you can no longer hear what's taking place. Of course they time. are. What they're going to do is they're going to start encrypting it. Now, here's the thing. Uh, every newsroom I have ever worked in, uh, over there assignment at the assignment desk. desk, the dispatcher has got a police scanner there so he can hear when there is a chemical spill or there's a hostage situation or there's something... Traffic congestion. Where there's something the of interest to the people so that we can get the word out. Hey, avoid this intersection because there's a chemical spill or there's, a, 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 there's an active shooter or something like that. What they're doing essentially is they're going to encrypt all the channels and only... It's, here's the thing. For decades, news departments all across the country have listened to that so they know where to send the crews. But in Chicago, when we send crews to the news and there's breaking news, bad news all over, it's making Chicago look bad. So the question is, is Lori Lightfoot encrypting the police scanners so the news media in Chicago can't report the news? It kind of looks like it, and that's why a whole bunch of news outfits out there have sent letters to the mayor, and she will not, she will not budge. Yeah, I mean, you walk into any newsroom, local newsroom across the country, and you'll see the assignment desk. She looks like an all alien. All the reporters are sitting in the newsroom. We all had cubicles. Our desks were facing each other, so we could see each other. We could always hear what's going on. We could shout across the newsroom to say, "This is just breaking. Get on the set. We've got to report this. There's a shooting at the school, or there's a bus that's overturned, or whatever it might be in local news." And you can hear those scanners up at the assignment desk, and whoever's in charge of the assignment desk is getting that news in real time so that we can report it to you because sometimes it affects you and your family. And that's what, there's a letter to the Fox 32 readers in Chicago and it talks about how this is going to impact our ability to provide timely, accurate, potentially life-saving news to you. They said there was a shooting at a courthouse there. The perpetrator fired more than 40 shots and escaped on an expressway. The right. city of Chicago prevented you from knowing about this dangerous incident by blocking all of our live scanner transmissions. Also another guy with a rifle walking down the street at West Pullman neighborhood and Chicago police said we they said we're not able to alert the public that this was happening it all took place around dinner time as people were returning home from work and children were returning home from school right that's what the local affiliate in Chicago wrote uh, but a coalition of media outfits wrote in part 
We asked to meet in person with the city to further address these issues, but despite multiple attempts, Mayor Lori Lightfoot flatly refuses to even discuss the matter. In of course short, she Mayor's does. decision to restrict our access to scanner channels will harm our ability to keep you, our readers and viewers and listeners, safe and informed and render it more difficult to hold our government and its personnel accountable. Just a, a couple of weeks ago on the program, we talked to uh, Bill Kelly, William Kelly, a uh, reporter out in Chicago. His uh, press pass was revoked by the city of Chicago because he is famous in that, uh, in that town for asking the mayor hard questions. Here he is, it was. essentially that's what they're doing. They're pulling the press credentials for every news outfit. You will not be able to hear the police scanner anymore. Here's what he told us about the mayor. On November 23rd, I was asking the obvious questions, and uh, she lost her temper every single time. The videos went viral, millions of comments, likes, and shares. But now Mayor Lightfoot is in re-election mode, and she doesn't want any more embarrassing questions to go viral. So she revoked my media credential. And I'm telling you right now, Steve, this is a very serious constitutional crisis in the city of Chicago. And she wants to, you know, win this case against me and then expand this, uh, this attack on the First Amendment to all the reporters who ask her real questions or any reporter nationally who would dare to ask uh, a real question of a powerful politician. The lesson of the last couple of years, whether or not it comes to elections or COVID or crime, is if you can't control reality, you can control the perception of reality. And what's happening in Chicago now, what we can see from Mary, Mayor Lori Lightfoot is she is not going to control that crime crisis. But in an attempt to win re-election, she is going to, to, to control the minds of Chicagoans as to exactly what's happening in their city. So a way for her to... Uh, yep, yeah, so I agree with uh, Will Kane there. And let me chime in. Um, what do I think about this? Uh, what do I think? I think Lori Lightfoot. I think Lori Lightfoot doesn't give a damn about the people in Chicago. I think Lori Lightfoot doesn't give a damn about the crime in Chicago, the safety of people in Chicago. I don't think Lori Lightfoot gets a damn about black people in Chicago. Um, she seems to just care about anything that's LGBT community related. She just seems to care about making enough money to um, live a couple of life, comfortable lifestyle for her and her um, lesbian partner. Um, one thing I noticed about these, these LGBT activists, they don't really care about anything but their agendas. They don't really care about, um, civil rights, the black agenda, anything of that nature. Um, Chicago has always been bad. But Chicago wasn't always gang infested as it is now in modern day Chicago. I mean, yeah, you had the Al Capone days and whatnot, but those were more Italian mob gangs. It was a little different. Actually, it was a lot different. These gangs nowadays, I mean, from what I hear, every single block, block to block to block is a gang, the gang, the gang. It's just, and a lot of people feel like they had no choice to join the gang. It's just, it's out of control. It's out of control. I don't know if there's anything you could do, but the New York uh, Rudy Giuliani stop and frisk method, you know, um, but yeah, Lori Lightfoot does it. Like like Will K said, this is all about getting reelected, keeping your fat paycheck. Um, and they probably make money off of other things like um, land developments and, and things of that nature that are done in the city. I'm pretty sure they get money 
you know, people are paying them under the table to do favors and things of that nature, you know, because um, politicians, it's a, being a politician, it, it's a dirty game and nobody's cleaning it. I was, what was it? Um, what was the name? Van Lathan. I think he was saying that being a president is like um, a, uh, like a warlord kind of a job. It's like being a warlord. Same thing with probably being the mayor of Chicago. You know, it's probably like being a warlord. Um, but uh, they definitely need to get her out of there and, and hopefully get somebody in that actually cares about the, the city of Chicago getting cleaned up somewhat because the crime is just ridiculous in Chicago. Like, that wouldn't happen here in Fayetteville, North Carolina because we're too close to the um, Fort Bragg. They just bring in the military and declare martial law up in this bitch. I know that for sure. Uh, once again, I thank you for tuning in, Paul Pickett Podcast, and I'm out.